Hello, my name is Colin Forsyth. I live in Cape Town and this is my playroom. Today we're going to be making this arbor press. So my idea today is to take this old drill press which I don't use anymore and together with a bit of scrap steel turn this into an arbor press. I'm going to pull this thing apart make a few little odds and ends I've got some bits of steel that I can chop up and turn this into a little arbor press that I can use for putting studs and things like that into whatever. Okay, so this is the one part we can use. This little cog is not particularly strong, but I think I'm going to do fairly light work with this thing. It's not going to be really heavy duty. And then this is the other part, so this will become the ram. So that's nice and square now, huh? either side. To measure this. So that is the shape I've got to cut out. So I'm thinking I will cut it with an angle grinder to a rough and then on the milling machine I'll clean it out nicely. All right, I need to take it to the milling machine and mill it out. To raise this thing up. Okay. 
Okay, so got the center. the right size and the bottom the right size. Now those angles, so you can see what it looks like. I need to file those bits. Okay, so that hexagon is going to be 60, 60, 60 degrees all the way around. So I've moved my vise to a 30 degree. Well, there, eh? Look at that. Okay, it's in the center this way, and from there to the center of the hole looks like it's 36 millimeters. So, here we go. That's what it looks like now. It's going to fit in there. Once it's all deburred and the corners are rounded. But now I need to cut these sides to 30 degrees. That's perfect, but it'll just have to do. Have uh, I got that angle right? No, not even close. Okay, anyway. Let me think about what I've done here. Right. The problem is, I had it set to 60 degrees because that's the angle up there, but because we're cutting at an angle and the, the bottom is not horizontal, it's actually got to be 30 degrees. So I'm going to reset it to 30 degrees. So this thing is not 100% square because it's taking off more on that side than on this side. Could be the vice is a little bit off because I did not trim it properly the last time. Okay, I think I've got it trimmed in.
Right, I think that is it. I'm going to flip it over the other way. Do the other side. That's what it's looking like. Pretty close, eh? I think it's gonna work. I forgot to video this, but I welded a little piece on there which slides in like that. So now I want to draw a couple of holes here to put adjusting bolts into it and on the sides I need mountings. So that's what we're going to do next. Right. So there we have it. So this piece you've seen me machining. I don't know that you've seen the whole thing because the battery ran out. So this is what it looks like. So what happens is this goes in there like that. This can, can come off so that I can push this through if I need to to move the arm position of the arm you can see how this goes together it holds this in place there you go Okay, I'm going to do the rest of the camera. Right, so all the welding is done and it did pull a little bit skew. Uh, this side here has pulled it in a little bit. I used my dial gauge to get this as close to center as I can because it's such a huge stick out and I've drilled the center drill.
Don't do this. Little grub screw to hold it. So there it is, so finished, it's all in place. Like I said, it's nicely square this way, like that. But this last weld that I pulled in here, pulled it over a little bit. So it's sloping in very, very slightly. But no, for my purposes, I think it's going to be just perfect. We ready to assemble the arbor press. First thing is, this goes in, little spring. You can see how it can move backwards and forwards, and that is to disengage the cog from the arbor in case you want to move the position of the handle with relation to the arbor. Just to show you, loosen this, push this through, this can be moved anywhere you want it, and then you pull this out to lock it where you want it. There you have it. This is called a semi-tubular rivet. This is a four millimeter by 10.